Welcome to our quick List Browse demo. In two and a half minutes, you'll know all about List Browse. I'm clicking on the Leads tab and we'll switch over to any list view. In this case, the All Open Leads view, which has 14 leads. Then I'll click the Browse button and it takes me into the first lead. As you can see, it has 14 leads to browse through. It allows me to go through them one by one, edit them, add related records and notes, or whatever I need to do. Switching over to contacts now. Again, I can select all the contacts on the list up to 200 at a time. But in this case, I'll select just four of them. Clicking on browse, it takes me into the contact and now I can see that I have four records to browse through. I can go through them one by one as before, but I can also look at the entire list of records that I selected and go to any one of them that I want to, if I don't want to go in the browse order. And then, if I like this list, I can save it so that I can go back to it in the future. In this case, I'll save the list of my A records. Now that my list is saved, I can go into my available lists and see all the ones that I've saved in the past. I can switch to a different one, like my long list of 20 leads, and I can go through them one at a time. Now, because I saved the original list, if I want to, I can go back to the original list. I can go to the last record on the list, and at any point, I can just close out of the list if I'm done with it, and then List Browse is gone until I launch it again. This works in any object, and it also works in Classic, if you're still using the Classic Salesforce interface. Again, I'll go to Contacts, and this time I'll choose four different records, and when I click the Browse button, it takes me to the first record and gives me the same functionality that we saw in Lightning, including saving and loading lists and everything else. That's it. Get List Browse today.